Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to continue to build our village here in Dot Age today. Uh, in the last episode, we, we got started just kind of figuring out the, the ropes in Dot Age. And I'm going to tell you, I, it's going to take a lot of ropes for me to figure out exactly what I'm doing uh, in this game. As there's a lot of moving parts. It's a complicated boil. Uh, and I'm excited to continue to, to learn more about it. You guys uh, gave me a lot of good tips and tricks in the previous episode's uh, comment section. Thank you for the support. Um, one of the things that you brought up that, that I think is a, a really important thing to explore, right, is I can build these cabins, right? And these cabins uh, allow me to house two people in them. But what ends up happening when you house two people in them is if you put two people in the house during the day and they don't got any work to do, it's the miracle of life, baby. And then we got some babies and then those babies grow, we get more people. Um, so it could be like a, a really, really valuable way for us to uh, get some more workers into our town. But obviously with more workers comes more food that I have to, to grow and handle and we're out of bushes so i have to either expand our village all the way up here to get access to these bushes um which i i do think is a positive thing to do it's it's a difficult decision there's there's a lot going on here for us to think about uh and along with a lot to think about we, we got all of the research in the world right um just a, an alarming amount uh of of research that we've done so we have the cabin, you know, we got the village hall holding more people. Maybe we want to explore the idea of a chicken pen, but that that now uh, attracts wild events. We, we got the hunting tent, which can turn the chickens into meat, which also seems good, but maybe we want the chickens for eggs instead. Um, in the last episode, we, we finished up the remedy rug, which I, I believe allows us to turn hemp into healing which is something that we probably want to build at some point. But now we got the hard pharmacist stand that allows us to heal sick pips, um, which is also a positive using hemp for that. So I, I got to figure out what it is we, we need. Um, I do think that producing, so this produces knowledge. It's an upgrade of the thinker's post. Ah. <laughs> Okay, dude, this is a really good investment. This is a really good investment. Um, this produces hope, I think. Just kidding. It produces the essence of nature. Interesting. Dude, I think that this is a great idea. Um, because we're basically going to invest in doubling our research, which allows us to get more stuff done. Um, so I'm going to choose this as our next research project. And we're going to get two people going just as fast with that. I do have an idle guy, and, and I have a plan for that. I do still think that it's probably valuable for me to try to extend our, our village to touch these berry bushes. Um, our food is only going to keep going down, okay? Uh, we're going to be growing tomatoes soon, which is good. That's, that's a good step in the right direction for me. Uh, but it is also... Hey, I mean, it's just some tomatoes, right? It's just some tomatoes. So the heat domain feeds on the rising temperatures throughout the village during hot seasons. It's fast, fickle, and restless. Can spread flames anywhere. Make sure you keep it at bay. Heat changes with the seasons and the weather. It will be replaced by cold during autumn. So it's now heat, right? I have a 50% chance of getting a good event. Based on the current threat, I will need three more cold to get 100%. So we want to find a way to generate cold. Um, to generate cold, I need this. I need a puddle, right? So this is probably our next research after I finish the, the retreat. And, and we'll just make some puddles so that our people uh, are a little bit more cold. And <laughs> that, that'll make them happy, I suppose. So our signpost is made. Ideally, I'd like to make another. Um, I know it's a little annoying, they take up space, but this will get us to these berry bushes and then this idle person can, can manage those. At some point I also have to think about building a cabin. Um, building the cabin will, will allow us to make a baby. I, I think that I'm maybe not wanting to do that yet, uh, so I'm just gonna chill, I think. I'm just gonna chill. I need more hope as well. Okay, it's a lot, man. It's a lot to think about. It's the beauty of a, a intense 
strategy board game. I'm calling this a board game because I'm telling you this is exactly what it is. Um, if you love this game and you're looking to get into board gaming in real life, you should check out the game Viticulture. Um, this actually plays very similar to Viticulture. Um, it's a brilliant, brilliant board game. One of my favorites. Um, enough RNG to be fun, but also um, not super frustrating at the same time. So pips can train to learn professions. Interesting. Some buildings require trained professionals to work in them. Pips must be skilled enough with the tools of the trade. Professionals can be identified by their fancy hats. I love that. A professional can work in more buildings, but they can still work in basic ones. To train one, use the train action on a building from its actions menu. You'll need a free pip and sometimes a matching tool. You can unlock buildings that are stronger versions. You can build upgraded versions on top of the previous ones. That's actually huge. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right now since I've unlocked the, the retreat. And now we also have the secluded retreat, which gives us uh, three knowledge instead of two. Because this is currently giving us one. You can see that right here, right? This sucker is given two. Now we're going to upgrade that. This is giving three. This attracts thunder events, though. This also attracts thunder events. Okay, that's scary now that I think about it. But I think it's a good investment. I do. So I'm going to place you right on top of you. This takes five wood. It's going to also take uh, a little bit of time to make, but you're, you're going to do just fine with that. Our food is decreasing, so we are going to assign somebody to start collecting some berries. I got more chickens, too. It's very exciting. Um, and I think that the, the next thing that I need to do is probably this puddle in order to get some, some cold going. It's only going to take two days for that to happen. Um, which means that realistically... Oh, I got so much research going on right now. Yeah, I'm still... Frick, man. We, we actually are getting four research a day if I keep these guys where they're at. Which is probably, like, a bad idea, all things considered. Um, let, let's... I'm going to do that for one more day, okay? And then I'm going to take these guys off of research and get them on other things. Because the reality is this is now going to take the place of both of these guys. It's going to be fine. <laughs> it's going to be fine. Don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it. This is happening sooner rather than later. I, I send you to the next day, okay? Very good. Berries come in, which is nice. Upgrade completed. We got our Tree of, of Wonder, also known as the Retreat. Food comes in, everybody's happy. And, and we're now one turn away from the Puddle, which is very good. I feel like I'm due for, for some disaster to strike, but I'm gonna pretend no for right now. So you gotta go, you gotta go. One of you is no thinker available. Ah, frick. I need a thinker. How the hell do I make a thinker, brother? I need I need a literal dude that's a thinker. Oh no, I've made a grave mistake. I gotta figure out how to how to train a, a thinker. So hold on, this is probably a good time for us to yeah. So like right now you're a handyman. None of you are thinkers. You're all just handymen. So how do I train you? Um, this is where you search thinker post maybe. To build it, I need a handyman. To produce it... Oh no, that's a thinker post. Where, where's my, my retreat? So the retreat requires a thinker. So a thinker, here we go. With their fancy hats, I thought they were the smartest in the village. So you... Training cost one, building cost. Is this where I do it? How do you become a thinker, brother? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let, let's... Professions? Is that... I don't, I don't... I don't remember how to... How to... How to turn you... Into... Uh, a lad. Hmm... Hmm... Give me a hint, okay? Uh... <laughs> this is a lot of hints. Professionals. To train a professional, use the train action on a building from its actions menu. Okay. Is this technically a, a building? It is. So what is the train? Oh, here we go. Train profession. There we go. Okay, you're going to train as a thinker, brother. So that's going to take you a day to do that. That's fine. Um, otherwise, we, we are going to keep... 
I want to get the research going on this while while you're training. It's just one more day um, of a little bit of messiness. We got tomatoes, tomatoes. You should move to here because those berry bushes are always going to be there. The tomatoes, that's six uses out of the tomatoes, man, which is huge. That's massive. And then we want to make sure that we continue to plant more tomatoes uh, in the future. We also do want to make sure that we're we're building these fields as well, though. Um, the barley field, probably uh, an acceptable thing to do in the future. Requires more research. There, there's just so much research to be done. It's why I'm going so crazy on on our on our research um, upgrades and stuff. Because I feel like if I can blast through research, it gives it gives me so many more opportunities for for success. So you should be a thinker now, brother. Because it was only took him one day to turn you into a thinker. Mopo has completed thinker training. This is a great this is a great day for Mopo, honestly. So that's good. That's very good. So now I, I effectively I've gained um two units back, right? Oh no. I see I see an unknown event coming upon us. The vision is confusing, but there is hope we can fight it. Okay. Interesting. Unknown event may appear within the prophecy. The events associated can be very bad, but the vision is blurred and the future can be altered. Increase protection against the power of the event to control your destiny and get a good event. Okay, so I need to generate hope. It felt somewhat dangerous. I need to generate hope. We have several days to prepare. The vision has awakened the domain, which has begun to generate fear. Better produce some hope. Okay, influencing events. When an unknown event arrives, the domain's current protection and power are compared. You have a chance to get a good event based on the difference. The higher your protection, the higher the chance of a good event. Okay. I, I think I understand. Um, if you collect enough protection, you will get a good event with certainty. So this is good because now I can dump... Like, both of you I'm going to take off. And I'm going to do everything to generate uh, hope for us. Which is protection, right? Um, so how do I do that? How do I do that? I do that, I'm gonna have to research, which means you're, you're both probably going back on research, but we, we need, okay, it's the pond. It's the watcher, fair enough. So the pond get, generates two water. That's that's good to know. So I think we need, we need something that generates hope, right? Which is you? You generate nature, right? That's, that's not hope. Um, how about growth? None of these generate hope. Community? That's that is definitely community. Meeting point. This generates hope. Okay. Plus one if dwelling building within one tile. Which is massive, to be honest. So we're gonna research you. That does mean that I'm putting both you suckers back on <laughs> back on research. Because that's gonna get this done in one day, right? And we got four days to get there, so I can then start generating uh, more more hope. I don't mind this, if I'm honest. I actually think that this is this is a pretty good scenario for me. Um, yeah, three people don't have jobs. Don't worry about that, okay? Don't worry about that. It'll be fine. You don't gotta sweat. This is this is a day over for me. Um, yeah, okay. I'm looking at our, our food. We're generating the tomatoes now. I got really scared because the berries were decreasing. <laughs> But it's, it's fine. It's completely fine. New resource discovered. Fear. And meeting point has been discovered. So we have gained one fear. Which means that I have an 83% chance of a, a bad event. Okay. Um, so I gotta start generating some hope. And that's exactly what we're going to do. By making a meeting point. So plus one if the dwelling is between the spot. So this will now generate, if I put it here, plus two hope per turn. You are going to take one day to build, so no worker available, you're off research, you're here. And the reality is that I probably, I'm gaining three research a turn right now. Let's see what else we got. The shared table, the relaxing stand, uh, new ailment, distressed. So this requires food and water to generate hope. Three hope. But it takes two people. I'm going to tell you, I don't think, actually really think this is worth it because this is generating two for me right now um what is this generating this is generating infusion 
interesting. Requiring a vegetable and water. And it requires a hope maker. Um, I'm, I'm gonna not worry about you yet. I think you're probably useful for sure, but I'm, I'm gonna not worry about you. The pond, I just need two wood to make. I'm starting, the, the wood is beginning to decrease uh, ever so slightly. So give me, I, I need to make a pond. Um, how the hell do I make a pond, brother? Didn't, didn't I, how do I, how do I make you? It's a service. Okay, um, did I just, did I just miss it? Am I dumb? Service? Service? Uh, oh, it's right here. There we go. Gotcha. So, puddle. So, plus one if the water maker is within. So, I'm gonna put it here. Th dude, this is where it's gonna, it's gonna go haywire. <laughs> it's gonna go haywire as time goes on. Um, because... Obviously, like, these here wanted to be, if we take a look, it gives plus two crops if the water maker is within one. So now I got th th multiple things that require the water maker to exist, which is, like, a slight problem. I'm gonna put you here. I still need to figure out what research I'm doing, too. Um... So, like, the well is an interesting upgrade, but I, I don't necessarily think I need to do that. I think that probably beginning to, to work on... Honestly, this seems good, right? Adds clearing terrain, which allows me, I think, to clear... Um, getting rid of wild grass. Interesting. That's actually not what I expected. I, I thought that maybe that would allow me to get rid of the trees that we have. Upgrading the wood stack's not a bad idea, too. God, I just need more people. <laughs> I got so many so many things to do and, and not enough people to, to do it. Maybe we also like the chicken pen. Right? Could be a good idea, too. So many, so many things. <laughs> so many things. This could generate food for me. You know what? I'm chicken penning. Possibly a bad idea. Um... But just let me let me let me cook a little on this one. Let me cook. I think we got a decent idea. I'm gonna need to get some more wood here um, very soon as well. But now we got our our pond and our meeting point. I gotta dump people onto the meeting point to generate some hope for me. We we don't got a lot of days left to generate hope, but I can. I have a zero percent chance of getting a good event. Okay, fair enough. Um. You are good. I have an idle guy. You're... I need two people for that. You coward. <laughs> you absolute coward. Okay, you're off that. You're both assigned to generating hope right now. Uh, it's good. I mean, they're, they're going to be happy. They're generating hope. I also like the idea of generating a little bit of cold. Um, just to, to keep our place kind of stable uh, from the cold. I'm going to end day. The next three days are going to be a very, very dicey position for us. I mean, we're just not going to generate hope quick enough um, is the biggest problem. But we're slowly going to push this back. I mean, it's 50-50 right now. I'd like to just be above 50-50. Look, I'm a, I'm a statistician when it comes to this kind of stuff. Um... You know what? You you generate cold for one more day. That that's okay. Then you got to get back on food. I'm good with this. I I passed the day. I'm a statistician. You you gotta you gotta play your probabilities, okay? And I'm I'm gonna play my probabilities as such. Higher than fifty percent chance is good enough for me at this stage of the game. Memory retrieved, hurting. Okay, we got chicks. Not only pips live in the village, you also find animals of all kinds. Like pips, animals need food every day. Frick me. They can be used as resources for various buildings. They live in pens and ranches. Use the lure action on one of these buildings to lure an animal out of the forest. This will cost some resources. Frick me, dude. It's it's insane. So we, we have got the chicken pen now. We now also get the ability for an egg uh, farm, which is exactly what I wanted, right? Plus one for each chicken within one tile. So we, we would chicken pen... 
to hold a lot of chickens, it holds three chickens. That's not that many chickens, brother. But this would give me three eggs a day. But it requires a dude. <laughs> All this stuff requires people. I, I need passive income. And passive income meaning passive resources. It's an insane amount. I, I need to get more people. Like, that's, that's the big... That's the big kicker right now, is I need more people. I also think that it's probably going to be valuable for us to start trying to get some of these some of these fields, right? Like having barley that we can turn into something. I think that's going to be important, so I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm going to do it. Now, we're generating hope. I'm at a 67% chance. Um, theoretically, one more day to do this. It's not not terrible um i've taken this guy off of here what i would really like you to do is i'd like you to come here but i need you to generate seeds for me um don't necessarily need food today definitely need food tomorrow okay definitely need food tomorrow but we're gonna get two guys freed back up um tomorrow so it's, it's gonna be fine yeah there's our, our chicken pen boy it's stressful there's a lot going on okay there's a lot going on but it's it's good we could take our guy off of research for a little bit, but I'm telling you, I still think that research is a, a very important thing. 67% chance at a, a good event, man. I mean, I, I don't mind the odds. It's a two-thirds chance. Don't kill me. Oh, frick me. <laughs> that's, why, that's why you dumped it in, man. That's why you dumped it in, okay? So what are you doing, my, my guy? You're dancing? I appreciate the dance. Holy knowledge? That's a great event. The village gained eight knowledge. <laughs> you're insane. Okay. Um, Eureka. That's a great... I mean, that's a great day, man. <laughs> that's a great day. So, in return, here, here's how I'm thinking about this, right? And this is probably a terrible way to think about this. Hungry pips. If you do not have enough food, they get hungry. They may also get sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Um, bunch of other things influences the power. I understand that the food looks a little dicey right now. That's that's not going to be an issue. We're going to change you to produce food. We're going to put you producing food. We're going to put you producing food. Okay? And all of a sudden, I'm gaining eight food today, which is really big. Here's how I want to think about the fact that we just gained eight production. That is effectively the way that I'm researching right now. That's an additional four turns that I've just gained, right? Like four turns into the future that I've gained. I like the idea of maybe taking this guy off to do other stuff for a little bit because we, we have, if we're keeping a standard, you know, growing of the village and growing of our research, I've bought four turns for myself, which allows me to move you to other things, such as, for instance, uh, getting a little bit of wood back in the village so that I can build a house, right? It's going to take two days for that, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, yeah, unfortunately. Um, we're also not gaining any any fear today. The other The other thing I could do is I could just maintain... Frick, dude, I want to do that instead. I'm gonna main. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. You know what? They gifted me. I can get to uh, my barley field quicker. And maybe that's a, a better way to think about it. Maybe we don't need the the couple food from this guy, and instead you generate some wood for me. I'm still generating eight food from these guys. You were actually generating seeds. I didn't do that correctly anyway. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, it's tough. <laughs> it's tough. I mean, the decisions are difficult. This is this is the name of the game, right? It's a brutally hard game and brutally hard decisions that you have to make. Um, and you may you may be looking at the decision I'm making and going, Tyler, you're you're a dummy. You're a big old dummy. I'm gonna hope that I'm not a big old dummy. Thank you for the barley field. Pips can now use tools. That's exciting. Make sure you have a tool maker in your village. Of course. <laughs> another another thing I gotta worry about. Um, so now we got the barley field. I'm going to probably take a break from research for a little bit. Um, we are going to need the tool maker, which is in education. 
it's in construction, the workbench, this generates tools, right? Yeah, basic tools. So you have to be the next research thing. But I may not start that research yet. Um, I may take this time. You got two more days on, on that. Can I, can I just make another field? I don't have any water, believe it or not. Okay. Um, make another water, please. With the intention of a tomato field going there in the future. But I, I can't do it yet. Um, and I can't do that because we don't have enough water yet. My plan is the tomato field is going to go there. We, we still got two more turns on that. Um, but that's going to be fine. That's going to be fine. We take a little break from doing research. You're going to um, be disposable here in a second. Because we're going to have enough wood to make a house. My plan is that we're putting a house right here. Okay. Um, I don't know if that if this can get overloaded. Right? So this is uh, plus one if a dwelling building is within one. I don't know if I can do this twice to get plus two. I don't believe that I can. But I, I want to at least explore the idea of it. But I think it's time to try to get another person in the village. Because um, we're starting to get... We have professions, right? So I'm starting to have to specialize roles, and there's only so many specialized roles that I can do, so I need uh, more people. So give me a cabin, I'm putting it right here. You're off that to build this. You have water, you're gonna build this to get us some more tomatoes started. You still got a ton of berry bushes for the future. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Keep in mind that uh, spring ends at day 35. Okay, 35 is our magic day. And I'd assume that summer is going to be uh, messy. Because <laughs> every every season is going to come with its own its own situations and issues to, to unpack. So you got one more day building that house. Y'all got one more day doing this, that, and the other. These tomatoes are gone. So I got two idle workers right now, which is exciting. We're going to get research going again. Um, I could double down on the research. Don't hate the idea. Um, or, on the flip side, I'm going to not do research. I'm going to get water and I'm going to get seeds. And my idea is that barley gets planted tomorrow. Um, does not require a profession to... Uh, plant but requires a profession to to harvest okay i like it i like it i think this is good i think this is good um low on food production for the i mean it's it's net neutral on food production for the day which i don't think is too bad um we also got to really think about the idea of maybe we need two two pips to get it on tomorrow okay memory retrieve procreation <laughs> I love the idea of just like laying in bed at night and you're thinking about your, your day and your life and then all of a sudden you're like, frick, dude, I forgot about sex. <laughs> I forgot all about it. Pips can make new babies. Okay. The power of love of a dwelling has enough empty space. Pips can make a baby and they should if they want the village to thrive. Send two pips with some extra food to that building and they'll spend the night together to make a baby. Okay. Any two free pips will do no matter what they look like. Pips are very fertile. Based game, honestly. Did not take long to realize we needed more pips. I was too old and my fellow pips were healthy and fertile. Time to do, time for the birds and the bees talk. Okay, happy couple and some food. Two free pips. Okay, um, I think you're going to force me to do that today. Which is completely fine for the record. Um, you guys can do it. Pips need intimate space. Right click. And make it the baby. Okay. Very good. Pips would spend the next day making the baby. I hope everything is clear now. I won't explain it again. <laughs> Lo love that for me. Um, I would love to plant this barley field still. Just to get it going. So that's good. That's going to end up producing a frick load for me. You moved right to the next berry bush. You're so smart. Okay. Um, I love this. I love this. We're going to have a baby. I'm a little bit concerned about um, how the baby is going to work. Um, we're also spending a lot of food, and food is still my number one biggest issue and concern in this game. I know you're like, Tyler, food is just food, brother. You're going to be fine. But baby Daffa, 
Yeah, Daffa is growing. That's good. How long did it take Daffa to grow? Because I'm going to need Daffa ready to work in the field about, like, tomorrow. Okay. Damn Daffa. Daffa is probably also just going to, like, steal my food for the next week. I can feel it in my bones. The next season is coming upon us. Get ready for it. It's fine. I'm good. When a child is born, it becomes adult after a few days. Not strong enough or disciplined enough to work, so they just play around the house. Remember to feed them as they eat like adults. Frick me. <laughs> Occasionally an event will change the current season. Yep, 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 yep. We understand. We understand all about seasons. I'm all prepped and prepared for that, dude. I, I got I got a 100% chance of a good event right now. I generated that cold. I think that was really valuable for us. Um, so that's good. I got some free pips. I do think that getting back to doing some research is a, a positive thing to do. I think that getting back to... Um, we, we do need to generate some wood, right? Because we're, we're now, like, out of stuff. <laughs> we're out of a lot of stuff, actually. Um, we could just generate more food. I think that that's not a terrible idea. Um, but you know what? I'm going to go a different approach, and I'm actually going to assign another person to research because right now this would take six turns uh for us to get this done we assign one more guy to research we're gonna done in four turns instead which is the same amount of time it takes for this baby to grow up which i think is an interesting idea um we are operating at a net negative on food right now which i think is another important thing to keep in mind uh we're, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to ensure that we we make that a little bit better for us, but we'll we'll get there. I wish I could dismantle signs after. Uh... Can I? If I dismantle this sign, does that allow me to keep the terrain that I have? I bet it does. But let's, can I read you real quick? Enlarges the building area. So, uh, maybe we can. <laughs> I don't know if this is just going to nix, like, everything in the area if I do it, or if it just removes the, the signpost so I can keep on building. It'd be a really strong investment, unfortunately, to, to do that. So I'm not sure I necessarily want to do it. But dismantling would give it a wood back. Okay, you know what? I gotta know. I gotta know. If if I dismantle you, so memory retrieve dismantler. <laughs> can can we can we take a look at dismantler in here? I, I don't even know if dismantler. I'm I'm not sure that that's even even something that exists in here. Let's just see what happens. This could be devastating <laughs> if this goes poorly, um, but we're gonna hope that it doesn't. So I gained a wood back. It has removed the signpost. It has shrunk the place. Uh, <laughs> we lost access to this, this research spot, but I'm gonna tell you this. That's not the end of the world. <laughs> That's not the end of the world. I'm actually completely okay with this. Um, and now you guys are both harvesting food, which I think is, is really important. Um, hmm. So this is... We still get the same amount of, of production like number of production but we do get less food so it really was smart to put that here um i should replant but i need water <laughs> boy it's tough um you need to collect water for the day some tough decisions were made all around here but i'm i'm just i'm just keeping keeping things going um God, dude, we lose so much food today. We lose so much food today. You, you take a step off of, of doing food and you're like completely screwed for a week. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Everything's good. The workbench is going to be a nice, nice value add. You now have to uh, replant. I need seeds. <laughs> 
I need seeds. My food! My food! It's so screwed! It's so screwed! Screwed food, brother. We gain a person. Just, just keep that in mind. It's an investment. We gain a person soon. The barley field has been generated as well. Very massive. Very massive. Hopefully people can eat barley. They're making some nice soup. Perchance, perhaps. Workbench. It's good. The workbench is nice as well. Okay. So I should have gained a new person. Yes, I have a new person. They grew up quick. Bofa? Dofa? Um, <laughs> Bofa, Bofa, these nuts, possibly? Um, okay. Life is good. Free person. I need them to become a farmer. Okay? They need a tool. Fair enough. I need them to create this table. It needs wood. Fair enough. You're going to generate wood today. You need to do things like creating this. You need to do things like coming over here and planting. You need to get the hell off of research and frankly, just generate some, some food. Okay. That way we got wood producing. We're taking a step off of our research for right now. Just, just don't sweat it, okay? What, what is the next important thing? I mean, upgrading the wood stack literally doubles our efficiency. <laughs> really good, okay? It's really good. It takes three days to build it. What the hell, man? Okay. Um, maybe there's something better. Maybe there's something better. Obviously, upgraded research is also like so big. Takes four days and a million wood. <laughs> just just a million wood. Maybe some nature is important for us to make. Um, I haven't really seen why nature is valuable yet. We're generating a farmer, which I think is interesting. That allows us to actually utilize this egg farm. Um, but I haven't actually done anything with the, the chicken pen yet. So it seems dumb to do research on that. So in this case... Um, I'm going to hit you with like a little bit of a weird take, but I'm going to start the secluded research. And by that, I mean, I'm going to start the, uh, I'm going to start this because I need more wood before I can even do that. So we have to do that. And then that's, that's fine. Is it fine? I think it's fine. One more person really is nice. Uh, we're about to have no food. Uh, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta resolve that, I think. You gotta get off this, brother. And you have to get off this, go here. We're gonna do food here. We're only generating a tiny bit of food. These tomatoes were such a mistake. They were such a damn mistake. I need more food tonight. You gotta do this, okay? You gotta do this. I'm gaining plus six, but minus five. Is that acceptable? I have to assume that's acceptable. Um, it's fine. There's a strong future ahead of us. Just, just keep the keep the good times flowing, okay? Keep the good times flowing. We're gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. It's a new season, I believe. Oh my god, it's so green. <laughs> it is so green. The elder had a vision of heat. I don't care. 100% chance right now. Thank you very much. Seasonal threat set to one plus year. Consequence in five days. Oh no. So sad. Summer's finally here. The heat is harsher during summer. When a new season starts, plants that match the season are restocked. That's huge. Berries for days. Okay. That's good. That's very, very good news. Very, very good news. And ladies and gentlemen, summer begins. That's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed, as always, like on the video, much appreciated. We'll be playing more Dotage, um, possibly every day. We'll see. I'm kind of obsessed already. Uh, so if you enjoyed, like on the video. Keeps me knowing you want more. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.